How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, haven't seen you for a while. <clears throat> um, so I am kind of like in between projects. Haven't done really much of anything as far as creating anything uh, since I did the the little kits that that I put out. Um, the little French sort of halfway deconstruct. They're like deconstructed minis. Anyway, and part of it is just lack of inspiration, you know, like haven't been able to go out thrifting or, you know, to the bookstores and things like that. And really, you know, honestly, <laughs> I hate to admit, but shopping is always an inspiration for me. And just, you know, sometimes you find something just, you know, whatever. And, and it just inspires you to create something. And, um, yeah, so haven't been able to do that. And so one of the ways that I sort of combat that is to shop my stash, you know, and sort, I like to sort things and that usually will inspire me to make something, you know, and what I really, really love to do is just collage paper. I love gluing paper, cutting paper, tearing paper, whatever. And so in, you know, that being said, I, <laughs> I've got a, a stash of, these are scraps. Well, sort of scraps. They're, they're not all scraps. Um, a lot of it is just, uh, like paper that is maybe too brittle to use as pages in journals or, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, not all of it, but a lot of it, that's kind of what this stack is. It's just, um, a lot of them are like end pages from different books that, you know, where I like the texture or the color or, or whatever, some of the really super old French, uh, documents and stuff. This is one of the, like the back page. Um, some of it is stuff that has a little bit of writing on it and I thought would be cool to use in, um, like on tags or whatever. So basically, okay, <clears throat> here's where I'm going with this. So I've got all of the, I, I don't want to say scrap. This is more scraps. Okay. So I, I did sort out my giant box of paper scraps and that are like from collaging sessions, you know, and I pulled out everything that was sort of like blank, you know, just like blank paper that I could use, um, for writing spaces, like for writing tags. Okay. Uh, journaling cards or what have, whatever you want to call them. And, um, so a lot of these, like these are really brittle. They, they won't hold up to, um, to binding. So they, they're just very brittle. So they're just papers that need to be glued onto something. Okay. And what actually inspired me was Rice Krispies treats. <clears throat> um, since we've been stuck in the house, uh, and ordering groceries, one day, Sammy and I decided that we wanted to make Rice Krispie treats and we wanted to make crazy Rice Krispie treats. And so we sort of, um, when I was a kid, we used to call it rabbit cereal where like there was like, say maybe three different kinds of cereal and it was all like almost gone, but it, there wasn't enough for a full bowl of cereal in the box, you know? So you just pour all three kinds into a bowl to make it a full bowl of cereal. Well, we always called that rabbit cereal. Anyway, so we had a bunch of those too. Just boxes of cereal where there wasn't that much left. And so I we made Rice Krispie Treats. And honestly, it's a great way to use up a little bit of cereal that nobody wants to eat because there's not enough for a full bowl. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we, we, we just bought a bunch of crazy cereal. And then I had some of these other ones that... I don't usually even buy cereal in boxes, but like they have these weird varieties that they've been making. And so I buy them when I see them for the kids, you know, the kids, the kids are like 19 and 20, you know, 21. Anyway, so this, I was like, okay, I can't just throw away these 
cereal boxes. So I thought what I would do is, boy, it takes me forever to get to the point. Um, I thought I would just use this paper. Okay. This is really just paper or chipboard or whatever, very thin and just basically glue all of this onto these and see what happens. You know, I thought, um, I think I've got, you know, there's seven boxes. No. Yeah. Seven boxes. And I thought this space here folded in half would be nice to make a little journal. And then like that, the sides of the boxes and stuff, those could be, you know, I could make those into tags and, and whatnot. So I thought I would just open these up and collage, cover up the, the writing and, you know, the, all that stuff on the cereal box. And, um, you know, it's good. We all use packaging, right? For junk journals. And, um, also another thing that kind of inspired me was just watching Rachel at Roxy Creations, watching some of her hundred day projects. And, um, to be honest, I can't catch all of them, <laughs> but I do see some of them. And she did one where she did, it was, uh, I think the inspiration for that day. Cause she does this year, I guess she's doing them, um, on like, uh, viewer suggested inspirations on a daily basis. So the, the one that, um, that I watched most recently was the one where it was like staggered was the inspiration, like staggered. Okay. And, um, but she just did some little notebooks some little junk journal notebooks and I thought they were really cute. So, and what a great way to use up a bunch of scraps. And, um, so the, so that, and the cereal boxes, the cereal boxes were really my biggest inspiration. And then I got this box full of, um, like EKG paper and this like washi tape paper that's like got a grid design and some of it's lined and there's masking tape and, but mostly the, the EKG paper. Well, I don't know if they're all from EKG machines, but they're like thermal paper for like some kind of printer or whatever. Okay. So it's like, it's paper and it's useful. So I thought I would try to try to use up some of this stuff. This is actually a roll of labels. Um, I don't remember where it came from, but I'll see if I can unglue it somehow and use some of this. But anyway, it's just scrappy paper. And this is, um, this is actually packing tape. It's got the stuff on the back that you wet it and it seals boxes. So I'm trying to just use plain paper, like without lines and well, not, not without lines, without, without text. Okay. So just this kind of stuff. And, uh, I thought I would just cover these boxes and see what happens and try to use some of this stuff that is just sitting in a drawer. So yeah. And then maybe make some journals out of it. So I thought this would be a really fun beginning to like maybe a series of, you know, journals that we could make together. So grab some cereal boxes and grab whatever kinds of papers, scraps you have that don't have any text. And I mean, or if, if they do have text, it's very, very minimal, like limited, you know? So this can be kind of like the base to, um, further collage. So my thinking was that this would be really nice for people that, um, are kind of struggle with collaging and maybe, you know, just have a hard time with deciding how to put things down. And so I thought, okay, well, let's just cover it. Let's just cover it with whatever, you know, it doesn't, we're not going to think about like designing this in any particular way. We're just gonna, the, the main idea is just to cover the cereal box and, um, you know, so you don't even have to really start in the corner. You could start in the center or whatever. You could just kind of go 
all over the place and just get it covered and don't even really worry about like how thick it is and stuff like that since I think most of this will wind up being covers but we'll also wind up making some tags and stuff I think I think I think um yeah so just different different <laughs> this is some bank ephemera stuff like a receipt and it had like a rubber band that was like all crunchy all over it that got <clears throat> like dried out over the last hundred years anyway so i thought this would be this would be kind of fun and a good way to use up some packaging so yeah so i mean you don't even have to use cereal boxes right you could just you could just use any kind of packaging or if you don't have any packaging just grab some scrapbook paper that you don't really like and just cover it with just papers that you know if there is a little bit of writing on them it's very faint that was kind of my like criteria you know and I'm just using a glue stick and we'll try to just get this covered <clears throat> the end pages from books are great like I um, I try to save those whenever I have a like a book gutting session I always wind up with a nice big stack of of um, end pages so this is a paper bag that was coffee dyed or something at some point and you know couldn't throw that away so I'll just use it however it is and I thought this would be fun to even you know come back and do some stamping on it or or whatever and this is sort of like how I always do my like collage tags and you know <clears throat> so we can see the Twinkies the writing through it so I'll probably wind up putting another layer of paper over that I mean I don't really want to see that so but I don't want to take the time to paint these boxes or you know put two layers of paper all over the whole entire thing we'll see i don't know they i might wind up having to to do a lot more covering because see you are going to see the twinkies here and there but i'm also going to be um see like this is just an end paper from um, from another book from a book um, I'm also going to come back and add some images and stuff on these too that I cut out of books and whatever. So, so that will maybe cover up some of those areas where you can see the, the images from the box coming through. You never know. I mean, we'll just, we'll just kind of play and just glue paper using my baby wipe I always use a baby wipe to just smear everything down and get it get it nice and stuck um, so yeah so there are some ledger pages that have some writing on them but not much this this paper is really really thick so should give good coverage let's put this piece somewhere else go through a lot of glue sticks doing this and um i try so i've um been using these these are the blick art materials glue sticks and i'm really liking them they stick super 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 well super good super good and um yeah and they weren't they weren't expensive i got a box of them um, um i think there's 30 in a box for less than 75 cents a piece so um and these are the largest 
glue sticks that I've had bigger than even those um, the Elmer's all purpose and bigger than the Amazon basics. See, this paper is really brittle. And if I have little pieces that are sticking up here and there, that's okay. I was thinking that I might even, um, I might even, I love this, that clamp. I think that's so cool. I'm just going to glue this whole page on here. Um, I might spray these with a clear coat once I get, you know, once I figure out exactly what I'm going to do as far as designing the covers of these little journals. They're going to just be like really simple little pamphlet style journals. So if you don't have a ton of paper scraps like that don't have, you know, writing and stuff on them, um, you can just use different types of paper. You know, it doesn't have to be scraps necessarily. You could use notebook paper, printer paper, drawing paper, just really what I'm kind of aiming for is just the textures, you know. I just love all of the different textures and different tones and colors of this, of all these different papers, you know. Um, you could use printables, you know, just find like maybe a set of printable journal paper or something and um, print them out and tear them up. Dif you could use envelopes, like just use like a whole bunch of envelopes, different envelopes. Yeah, so when I'm just kind of in between projects, like I said, I sometimes it's hard to find inspiration, you know, and a lot of times just sorting out my stuff, just sorting through stuff is, uh, is inspiring. So plus I'm using up a bunch of scraps. So, so that's cool. Just gluing this stuff down. Just mostly, like I said, trying to just cover up that uh, cereal box. There's all these little pieces too. I I have a tendency to go for the um, the larger sheets of of scraps, like the larger pieces. And <clears throat> so I sorted out all the small pieces <laughs> from the large pieces and I have another little project that I'm trying to do with that like I mean like these little or scraps you know so I have another thing that I'm working on with those so my goal is to use a bunch of scraps and make some journals. I guess I have a few goals. Make some journals and um, use as much of this cereal box as possible on this project. Just really, really try to use every little piece as much as I, as much as I can. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm going to actually glue this. Wait, I don't want to cover that part. Hold on. I'm going to put the glue on the box instead of on the paper for this one because this paper is really, really brittle. It's literally just falling apart. Okay, just have that one little section. So something like that, where it's still hot, like I love the color and the texture of this paper. So I don't, I, you know, not really, 
uh, wanted to throw any of them away and just trying to use it, you know. <clears throat> All right. There's a hair on there. So pretty much like every piece of this you could write on, you know, so like I have the Twinkies thing coming through right here and right here, you know, so that's okay. I mean, that's on the, that's on the fold. So that's on the side of the box. And then this is like on the front. So that'll get covered up later with like a label or a, like an image or something like that. So, and then I thought, okay, if I'm going to do going to do this, that side, I might as well do both sides since it's going to be the inside of the journal. And then also these smaller strips will, you know, can be tags or tickets or, or whatever. So I'm just going to flip. It doesn't even really have an up and down, you know, anyway, so I'm just going to cover the inside too. Um, because that's going to make it a little bit heavier, a little thicker and a little bit more, a little bit more durable. Oh, this has writing on it. That's okay. So just cover both sides of your packaging, whatever it is. If it's a cereal box or cake boxes cake mixes um you know what makes a perfect size journal is like well i guess there's no such thing as a perfect size journal but it's a very nice size is like a rice aroni box you know <laughs> um it's a nice little kind of almost like a compact mini size journal okay See what else is down here. I've got some full pages of other types of paper too. I want to make sure I use some of everything. But I'm really trying to kind of keep it random. Oh, this is a nice This is really thick paper. The pages from this book are amazing. I I'm using them in what I hope to be a new series of journals <clears throat> for for May. Kind of making them like um and i and i have i'm having a really hard time with working on them so i don't know i just have to have at least a couple projects going all the time in order to sort of stay motivated i need to have i need to have a lot going on i do want to use some of that um tape and stuff too. Some of the EKG tape. Lots of paint, lots of glue. Um, you know, if you don't have glue sticks, you could totally just use any kind of glue to, to do this. Whoops. Any kind of glue is going to work, right? Um, even just Elmer's school glue would work especially if you plan to you know seal it with a clear coat so this is just like an like an off cut from i kind of like the yeah i'm gonna put that like that kind of like the um actually i'm gonna glue this put the glue on the box um i forgot what i was saying <laughs> Oh my God. It's been a long time since I made a journal or since I made a video. I mean, 
I don't even know what to, what to say anymore. Okay. I don't know how to act. Okay. Smid that all down. This is the end. See, these are just pages out of an old book, but the blank pages. Let's see. Really just, I'm not trying to design this necessarily. I'm, if anything, I'm attempting to just give some variety and sort of share, like use this whole page, but sort of split it up and um, spread it around a little bit. Because I like that watermark that's on it where that page was wet at some point. This will probably be, I'm thinking, sort of tough when it comes to folding it, like bending it, because it is going to be kind of thick. And um, I think I might use this as pages in a journal because this paper will fold pretty well. Um, This is a little order form. Uh, this will be somewhat difficult to, to fold it, I think. So I'll definitely need to use, I think, uh, like score it pretty well. And I might need to use a ruler or something. We'll just see. We'll just cross that bridge when we come to it, but. And there's usually some sort of like cracking that happens to the um, to the paper when when you're folding something really thick like that. Like you know how scrapbook paper always cracks. And then this one, I'm not inking any of these pages. I might go back and kind of distress the whole thing. Um, maybe add some ink. Maybe, I don't know, maybe just make this, make them super grungy. I was thinking it might be cool to even do some like gold and silver. I have these um, Gilder's Paste Wax that are kind of old. And now that I've opened the packages, uh, I'm afraid that they're going to just dry out super fast. So I want to try to use that stuff as much as I can. It might be kind of fun to do this kind of thing with just a bunch of different order forms um, like this, like different, even just digital ones, but order forms and, um, oh, guest checks, you know, anything that's like, like a form that you would fill out. And then just collage them all over. Is this orange. Just collage them all over some packaging. And then, I don't know, I think that might be kind of a neat cover. Okay, so just covering up the covering up this, you know, craft paper, craft color paper. Is 
This was the cover from some kind of pamphlet or something. That'll work right there. This just, I don't know what it is, but it's just, just gluing paper is so therapeutic. Like it's just relaxing and, um, and it's definitely, it's definitely like a Zen kind of thing, you know? <clears throat> I'm leaving this kind of funky edge on the paper there. there. And then I can just kind of glue those edges down add some texture, you know, um, I might come back and add once I have the cover sort of formed, you know, once I get these all done and get them all cut apart, then I could come back and add, you know, some, Oh, whoops. I missed a corner down here. Add some pieces of like, um, uh, gauze or some of that bandage that I like to use. So it's kind of cool. Little, um, wait, let's put it. Oh, I do. I want to keep that now. Okay. I'm going to put it. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Okay. About right there. Um, at, yeah, just add some, uh, like cheesecloth or or whatever in little pieces and little bits you can always add some fabric on the covers too so anyway so this was just kind of i just thought let's just see about doing a project together and i thought okay i'm just gonna do And, uh, maybe get you guys inspired to work along. So I've just got of paper. There's another bald spot right there. I'm going to cover it with the piece of this, um, paper bag. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm gonna work on doing the rest of them and let these dry. And then when I come back, we'll do or when I come back in the next video, I will start cutting these apart and making them into covers and we'll just see what happens. We'll just see where it goes, you know. I could do some like crazy stitching on them and add some neat um, images and whatnot. So yeah, maybe some fabric, like I said. So anyway, okay guys, well, thanks for watching and let me know if you want to work along. That would be nice. It's nice to know if you guys are trying to, trying to work along. And in the meantime, if you haven't watched already, go check out those little, um, those little journals that she made, that Rachel made. I'll try to link in the description, um, the video I'm referring to. Um, <clears throat> it's really cool. She just really just used literally just scraps of stuff. So anyway, yeah, we love Rachel. We love you, Rachel. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.